Hello. Uh, today we'll be going over proof by induction. And induction is this process here. Uh, and so what we do is we prove uh, a statement true for our first or smallest given value, and that's our step here. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll assume it true for some value k um, that is going to be greater than or equal to the first value that we said. Uh, and then the third step is going to be proving the statement true using our assumption from the value k. Um, and to give a bit of an idea of what's happening, um, so we can think of it as climbing a ladder, and we can climb the first rung, and then we can show that we can climb the next rung for any number that we choose that's greater than the first one, um, allowing us to do this infinitely. Um, primarily, we deal with subsets of the natural numbers or the natural numbers. So let's make sense of that. Uh, so we have this claim, and we want to prove this to be true. So for all integers with n, such as n is greater than or equal to 7, as, as a subset of the natural numbers, we have that 3n squared is greater than 17n plus 10. Um, so through induction, right, let's take that first step. So let's prove it true for the smallest given value, which is 7. So. We have 3n squared is greater than 17n plus 10. So now let's just plug in 7 where we have n. So we have 3 times 7 squared is greater than 17 times 7 plus 10. And then we do a bit of math, and we can see that this equals 3 times 49 is greater than 119, which is 17 times 7 plus 10, right? And we do a little bit more math, and we see that 147 is greater than 129, and that works, right? So put a big check mark. Now, we move on to step two, right? Um, so we're gonna, where we see an n, we're gonna put in a value k, right? And k is gonna be greater than or equal to seven. So we'll just make a note of that. So now, we assume when n equals k that 3k squared is greater than or equal to 17k plus 10. Right? This is cool. And so now, note that we're going to use the assumption to prove this thing. So, this is going to be important. Uh, and so now we'll move on to our final part, which is proving it true for k plus 1, which allows us to get that climbing the ladder effect, or like uh, we can think of dominoes falling over successively forever and ever. Um, so let's go ahead and plug k plus 1 in wherever we have an n. Right? So now we have n equals k plus 1. And it's going to look something like this. So 3k plus 1 squared is greater than me, or sorry, strictly greater than 17 times k plus 1 plus 10. All right, cool. So now, if we do a bit of math here, and we expand this, we see that this is equal to three times k squared plus two k plus one, right? and that's going to be greater than 17k plus 17 plus 10. All right, and so now we said we wanna use these two terms right here, so we'll rewrite this in a way where we can get that. So I'll get down here. So we have 3k squared plus 6k plus 3 is greater than 17k plus 10, right? Plus 17. So now we have these terms that we know to be true. And we also have these two things, right, that we're going to prove. Um, we're going to prove this term right here to be greater than this one. And so then we can prove it true for any value. So now we take 6k plus 3 and 17. One important thing to remember is that n is going to be greater than or equal to 7. Right? So the smallest value we can have is 7. So let's plug that in. So we have 6 times 7 plus 3 is greater than 17. Right? That works. So that's cool. Um, but note that n is only going to get bigger. Right? So this is always going to be true. 
So now we have something that's greater than this, and something that's greater than this, right? And then we add a term over here that's greater, right? Making this always bigger than this thing, right? And so now we've used this inductive step, right? So we take something that we assume, and then we use it to prove it true for any value, right? To prove that it's true for any value of n that's greater than or equal to seven, right? And so that's how induction works. Um, and that's the end of the video. Thank you.